Welcome back. So we are going to talk about one of England's most famous poets, Lord Byron. Yes, Lord Byron from England, London, England. He was born in the year 1788, which is one year before the French Revolutionary War began. Um, so yes, he was born in England and a very renowned writer. He loved to write. And from reading about his life, he also was very humble in how he interacted and connected with others. In fact, I think he donated a collection of 30 poems that he wrote to his, or for his friend, a composer, a music composer named Isaac Nathan. And um, they called it Hebrew Melodies. So all of Lord Byron's poetry was given to Mr. Nathan, the composer, so that it could accompany his music. I mean, he just seemed very wonderful and he liked to donate his time and give his time. So anyway, there is a great poem, an exquisite poem that I would like for us to work on and memorize some of its lines. It's obviously a pretty long poem and you can do that on your own, but I want to sing something that we can memorize and say forevermore. She walks in beauty like the night. Yes, that's a poem by Lord Byron. She walks in beauty like the night. Of cloudless climes and starry skies. And all that is best of dark and bright meet in her aspect and her eyes. Okay, that might sound a little complicated, so let's break it down. She walks in beauty like the night. That's pretty simple, right? She walks in beauty like the night of cloudless climes and starry skies. Cloudless, we know what that means, right? The weather must have been very clear. And he used the word climb instead of climate, the weather. Instead of saying of a cloudless weather, he used clou cloudless climes, C-L-I-M-E-S, of cloudless climes and starry skies of cloudless climes and starry skies and all that is best of dark and bright meet in her aspect and her eyes let's put it to our magical melody of twinkle twinkle little star she walks in beauty like the night of cloudless climes and starry skies and all that is best of poem by Lord Byron. You know, it's so wonderful that we are in this 21st century, 2020, and we can actually go back to the 18th century and see when Lord Byron wrote this beautiful poem. What could have inspired him to write these words? She walks in beauty like the night of cloudless climes and starry skies and all that is best of dark and bright meet in her aspect and her eyes and of course there's a lot more it's this beautiful poetry remember to continue to read and write and express yourself so today's lesson was about Lord Byron a renowned and prolific writer and poet